Now that you have your knitting done for as long as your pattern tells you to, we are going to end the knit fabric and that process is called binding off. It's pretty simple. And to get started, we need to knit two stitches. There's one and two. And then we are going to take the first stitch and we're gonna lift it up and off the needle. So we're gonna kind of leapfrog over that one stitch. I'm holding on to my yarn so that it doesn't, that second stitch doesn't pop off, but be careful with that because you don't want to get a tight bind off, just like you don't want to have a tight cast on. You wanna keep your bind off nice and not loose, but just kind of medium. So. I'm going to knit one more stitch and I'm going to go in and I'm not really squeezing on that yarn, but I just want to make sure that that one stitch doesn't fall off. So there it is. It came through and then we'll do another one, knit one, pull the stitch up and over and off. And we knit one and we do it again. Pull this one up over and off. And now you can start to see that it's creating, oops, it's creating a nice edge here, a nice flat edge. So you'll do that all the way across. And I'm gonna speed up the video because I wanna show you what happens at the end of that. Okay, now we are down to our last two stitches. And I'm going to let this one pop over just like before. And we have one left. So I'm going to take out my needle. I am not sure why I have the stitch marker on here. And I'm going to cut the thread, leaving a tail, cut the yarn, and then I'm going to take that end and I'm going to push it up inside of the loop and just cinch it closed. And then the fabric is finished. So in the next part, I'm going to show you how we make a mitt out of this.